it's me Nora Fethe. You're watching me on Viral Bollywood. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share. First thing, welcome to Viral Bollywood. Thank you. How are you? I'm good. How are you? How did Dilbar came to you, like the song? So Dilbar came to me uh, by, of course, Bisham, uh, Bushan Sir, T-Series, and Nikola Dvani from MA Entertainment. So they both approached me, and uh, they made me hear the song. And they explained to me the kind of theme and what they want from me as a performer. Um, and I obviously, you know, I fell in love with the song when I heard it. So I was like, I have to do it. So can you share some moments about the making of the song? How was it? There's so many things that happened. Uh, first of all, I had um, I was so nervous when uh, I went on set that morning when the hair and makeup was being done. I forgot to eat my breakfast, so I was extremely hungry, and we were running out of time. So I didn't have time to just stop and have my breakfast. So I had to rush on set, and we had to do the first shot. And the first shot was the signature step, and it was like a lot of dance moves and I was so hungry but I didn't even think about it because I was like so like scared and nervous um, and um, that was one thing I, I was on an empty stomach I don't know how I did it because if I do it now I would have just fainted but you know I had this really you know a lot of um, adrenaline rush that was kicking in um, when we were dancing with the sand it was very difficult because the sand kept getting into my eyes and we had to keep stopping in between and it was very painful and you know everybody you know tried to wash the the sand out of my eye and stuff like that it was crazy so when you watch the video it just looks so flawless you know but actually in the making behind the scenes when we were shooting it it was very difficult um, there were a lot of moments where uh, choreographer Adil Sheikh would keep the camera running and he'd be like just keep dancing just keep dancing just keep doing whatever freestyle you know just keep doing your thing and I would and it would go running for two minutes and they would repeat the song another two minutes that's four repeat the song another two minutes that's six minutes stop non-stop you know so it was very tiring um but I never stopped I never complained I never felt anything because I was an uh, I was on a high because the song sounded so amazing the set looked so beautiful everybody's energy was on a hundred percent everybody was so encouraging um I just didn't want the shoot to end it was that that much fun okay so have you seen the original one yeah, of course. I seen the original original one when I was young, when I was um, about thirteen years old. So Some, how difficult it was to recreate? Like it wasn't difficult because I was told that we are not recreating that. We are doing something different. We're doing a different take on the song. So I was not expected to um, kind of bring that old song back. I was just expected to bring my flavor into it, bring Nora into the song. Um, my only expectation was to make sure that I express and I give the whole different meaning to the song and not to, I mean, obviously I'm expected to dance well, you know, um, but I didn't want it to be just like, oh, nice, she danced so well. I wanted it to be um, a package, like, wow, she looked amazing and wow, she expressed so well. That's what I wanted. That's the kind of feedback I wanted. And, and fortunately, that's what we're getting. And working with John and Brenda. This is my second time working with John, and uh, it's always a pleasure to work with him. It's always amazing. He's such a positive actor. He's so cool. He comes on set. He pranks everybody, jokes around. He's very encouraging. Um, he'll constantly remind me of my talent and how amazing I am, which is nice because when you work with someone like that, you know, it's, it's great to have that encouragement because in front of the camera, then you look confident and, you know, you look very positive. Um, his energy is great, and, of course, um, our first song was a hit, and the second one is a super hit. So I hope maybe I get a chance to act opposite him. Maybe that will also be a super hit. Let's see. Okay, as you said, uh, he, he does prank and fun on the set. So would you like to share any moment on the set? I learned so many moments where I thought he was serious, but then I look at his face and then he starts to laugh. And I'm like, oh my God, you were just joking. But there were, there were a lot of moments, but he's, he's very funny. Okay. Who is your inspiration in Bollywood? Like? Um, I have a lot of inspirations. Um, Helen is my inspiration, Madhuri Dikshit Ma'am is my inspiration, um, of course a lot of our contemporary actresses are also my inspirations like Deepika and Priyanka Chopra for the amazing work she's doing internationally and of course Katrina Kaif for being someone from abroad coming into the industry and killing it, you know, so there are a lot of people that I really appreciate um, and I respect. And you also said that you 
follow Sri Devi also? Yes, yes, of course. I followed a lot of Sri Devi Ma'am's work, um, all her, you know, hit numbers, um, especially her like recent films like Mom and even English Vinglish and the the many like I watched English Vinglish like eight times, you know, especially when it released. I was obsessed. So for me, like any actor who is talented. I, I get inspired by like even Kangana. I get inspired by a lot, so uh, I'm just someone who appreciates talent. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So if you got a chance to romance in Bollywood, which actor would you like to? Be? I if I got a chance to romance an actor in Bollywood, we definitely we have we have to be someone around my age. So because I'm young, <laughs> um, <laughs> I would not mind romancing Varun Dhawan. Yeah, that would be really cool. And I wouldn't mind dancing with him also because that would be like, that would be fun. Yeah, that would look really cool. Um, but yeah, there are a lot of actors. I mean... Your upcoming projects? Upcoming projects. I have a song um, in the movie called Shri with Rajkumar Rao, um, which I shot before Dilbar. Um, which is releasing soon. That's a very fun, quirky number. And then, of course, my show, Dating in the Dark, which I'm hosting on MTV, is still airing every Friday at 7 p.m. Um, and then I have two other projects, which I will be announcing this week. Okay, uh, any reaction from family and friends after watching the Dilbar? Yeah, everyone's like, they can't stop watching it. It's on loop, it's on repeats, like, over and over again. Um, the reaction, like... Obviously, overseas, uh, the song is doing very well. Um, in Morocco, it's trending, and people, a lot of the media in Morocco are constantly talking about the song, um, and that's really surprising because it's never really happened before. So this song is reaching different levels. It's reaching different countries. It's, it's just crazy. Okay, this was a recreation of the old song. If you like to do any other... Recreation. So there's so many, there's so many, you know. Uh, you know, I, I really like the song Tip Tip Parsa Pani. <gasps> that would be amazing. Um, even any of Helen's songs also, that would be really cool. Um, I don't know, I can't think of a song right now, but many, many songs. Yeah. Okay, tomorrow Dhadak is coming out in theatre. Right. Are you excited? To I would love to see that film. Of course I'm excited. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Lastly, do your fans say? Uh, yeah, I just want to tell my fans and my followers and everybody who's really loved the song Dilbar and who's very encouraging. Um, thank you so much. Uh, I really, I'm really grateful for all the love and support. And obviously, like, I really hope you guys enjoy my future projects and I hope I make you guys proud. Yeah. Thank Anyone you. Step for all